Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at sounds. So we're going to look specifically at how we can use um, sites, websites to create um, backing tracks and sound effects for our game. Now, I'm not going to take you through how to create uh, the sound effects I'm using in game, um, but what I am going to do is to show you some of the basics that will allow you to, um, to create um, a backing track and different sound effects that you can export from those packages, from those websites, and then import into GameMaker. Uh, I won't be using the, um, the sound files in GameMaker during this video, that'll be the next video, um, but we are gonna look at how uh, are the websites you use to create them and some of the tools and techniques that you can use on those websites. So the two websites that I suggest you use, and this is, you haven't got to use these at all, um, but I suggest you, you look at these sites anyway, is um, beatbox.co, okay, so the website is there highlighted, and that allows you to make backing tracks. Um, so uh, you can do different layers on there with different types of musical instruments, and you haven't got to have any musical knowledge, it's just creating a sound. And then for sound effects, I recommend you use um, Chiptone, which is um, sfbgames.itch.io forward slash chiptone, and that allows you to make simple sound effects, beeps, things like that. And we'll have a look at both of those websites now. So the first of the sites is uh, Beatbox, and this um, has uh, a number of areas. So we have this area, which allows you to, uh, to put pieces of music in, and that sounds complicated, it's not, trust me. Uh, I'll show you in a second. We have this area, which allows you to change the different levels of music. So the bottom level is the, um, is, is the drums, the uh, second level up is guitars, the third level up is your piano and stuff like that, and then the fourth level up is your horns and orchestra instruments and things. So, um, so we're gonna look at how we can combine different sections from here to create a very quick music track. So starting with the drums, over on the right hand side, I have um, an option to change the different type of noise that's being created. So um, we're, I'm currently on the um, standard drum kit. Okay, so we've got all of these novelty presets and things. Um, but I'm on a, a standard drum set, this one here. So you can see that I've got the little arrow. And what that means is I can click and put that sound into my um, uh, backing track. So if I click play, it'll loop. So you can hear the drum. So let's let's try let's put some more. So I'm going to put another. I'm going to take one of those out. If I want to take one, if I want to take one out, I can. I can make these longer. I can click and drag. So let's get rid of those two. So I'm going to go like that. Where else do I want to go? I want to go. So I got a bit of rhythm going there. So let's uh, make some more. Okay, so I've got some some rhythm going there. I'm happy with that drum track. I can add other things if I want to. I'm not going to, because I don't want to spend too long on this. I'm going to go on to the next layer. So now I've got all these different instruments. Okay, so I've got a bass, I've got guitars. So let's do, um, oh, I don't know, let's, let's do a, uh, let's, try, let's try it as it is. So I've got uh, some music there. I can change the music type as well. And I could have a banjo. Okay. So I've got a 
base there now. So let's leave it at that. Let's go up to the next one. Let's go on to my piano. I'm gonna go on to, let's, have, let's try a FM twang, whatever that is. Last level here, and what should I draw? What should I use here? I'm going to use a um, brass section. Now I've got a technique I can use here. I can do this. that now to export that track all I need to do is to click on the file and export song and what I want to do is I don't want the outro I just want the song itself and I'm going to give this song a title so I'll call it um, backing track and um, I will export to mp3 that's absolutely fine and I'm going to export it and then what will happen Okay, you can see there that it exports it as a backing track, my MP3 file. Now I can play that, which I'm going to show you now. So if I um, right click on my, I'll click on the little arrow at the side of my backing track just to show you how it um, how it sounds. Okay, and that loops four times because I got four bars. And now I can repeat that inside the. Uh, the um, the game okay so that's how I can use um, beatbox to record um, a backing track okay let's look at the next site let's have a look at chiptone so chiptone um, allows you to create um, sounds so um, I can do a zap I could do one up lose hurt so there's lots of different presets that I can use I can use I can use um, a zap and I can use a different key, so I can click on this key. So that's the same zap, only at a different uh, frequency. Okay, I can also turn on um, some of these. I can have a harmony. So if I press um, turn that on, you can, see, you can hear that again. Okay, turn it off. Okay, I can have vibrato. So I could do that. I could increase the length of it. Okay, so you can play about with lots and lots of different settings on here. Okay, I can take, um, I can put a wah wah on. Okay, I could put a tremolo on. So there's lots and lots and lots of different things that I can do. Um, so again, you can create lots of different um, sound effects with this. Okay, so I'm just just messing about. Okay, so you have a play about that, and when you're happy and you want to download that, okay, all you need to do is to click this button at here that says Save WAV. You click the Save WAV button, downloads it. Okay, and if I, I can again, I can open it in my uh, app, and there you go. Okay, these are uh, exported as WAV files. 
there was also work in Game Maker. So that's how you can use your um, um, those two websites to create music. Um, I'm just going to show you now how to bring those uh, tracks once you've got them and you're happy with them. How you put them actually into Game Maker. Okay, so here are the sounds that I've got. So I've got a, a background music track. I've got um, a sound to collect my gems. I've got a sound that plays if I lose a life. I've got a sound that plays if I lose the game. I've got a sound that plays if I shoot. And I have a sound that plays for my win game. Okay, so to get them into um, Game Maker is very straightforward. So you you know it's in the Assets browser. You have a sounds uh, option here. Okay, what we're going to do is to highlight the music. Okay, so I've just highlighted the music from um, Windows Explorer. Okay, and I'm going to click. I'm just going to drag into the sounds folder there. Okay, and you can see that it's put all of those. Um, sound effects and backing tracks into uh, the um, um, game maker. Now, there's an issue in the fact that um, we need to make sure that they're named properly. So, I would exp I would suggest that you call any music track M U S underscore whatever you want to call it, and any sound effect um, I would call S N D underscore. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Um, I'm going to show you to re rename one and then I'm going to pause the video, rename the rest of them and then come back. Okay, so to rename the, the tracks, just right click on the track, rename, and I'm going to call this, oh, dear me, rename, and I'm going to call this um, MUS because this is the backing track, MUS underscore, and I'm going to uh, get rid of the um, word there and I'm just going to say underscore music okay so that's the first one renamed I'm going to do I'm going to pause the video rename the rest and then come I'll come back to you okay so all of my sounds have now been imported into uh, game maker so if I just open up my music I can click play okay right, so that was recorded on that website I just showed you that was recorded on a beatbox okay it's not the track I just recorded with you, it's a different track. Um, I can open up my lose game sound. Okay, so this is my lose game sound. Lose a life. Okay, so um, your sounds will be different to mine, obviously. Um, so what I'm going to do next in the next video is to show you how to use those um, sound files in game. Um, there's a little bit of coding that goes along with it. Um, and that should round the game off apart from the exporting of the game. So in the next video, like I say, I'm going to show you how to work with the sounds that we've just created uh, and to uh, incorporate them into your game. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson.